noise means we're live. Let's do a proper one. Father's Day and welcome to a daddy daughter show. Chris is rehearsing. Lucy is swamped with uni work. She might pop down later, we're not sure. Um, how do we sound? Do we sound okay? Yeah, we do. I can do it myself. I can check that. I have the power. Anyway, strip down show. Me and Bonnie. Say hello, Bonnie. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Right, should we do some news? Yes. We're going to do it uh, in the blues style again. Are you ready? So you're the first one there, Bonnie. You ready? Pride at DLP. Callum not. Drain Street Parade. <laughs> that was the news. Today coming up we have these news items. As aforementioned, uh, we've got a trip report uh, about Pride, hot off the press from Ashley. Uh, we've also got a uh, trip report from Tokyo. Um, we don't often include uh, overseas trip reports, but we thought it might be interesting as a comparison to mix it up for a change. And also we've got a mini report about the Princess Breakfast, um, and that's uh, all coming up later. That last one is from Olga. No, it's not. That was the Tokyo report. So Olga is doing the Tokyo report. Um, and I'll get the name of the Princess Breakfast shortly. Right, so, should we do some news then? Yes. So, uh, it's been Pride at DLP, uh, but the good thing is about this is because we've had this trip report, we don't have to report the news here, we can just uh, we can just read it out. So, um, we'll do with that. Uh, should we do that now? Yes. Or should we find out what we're drinking first in our tiki cups? Well, we don't have tiki cups today, but we do have Disney cups. Bonnie's got a little Mickey cup that she doesn't drink out of very often, do you? No. Because she can't be trusted because she spill, spills. Excuse, <laughs> Excuse me. And I'm drinking from the head of Orange Bird. Don't drink his brain juice. Um. Anyway, so, yes, it was uh, Pride at DLP, and uh, we have a report. Also, um, some shenanigans went on with that, unfortunately. But um, So, Ashley got in touch. Um, to send us a report. Uh, Ashley is there until Thursday, but thought uh, they would focus on the main event of Disneyland Paris Pride 2023. So Ashley sent us this. Um, currently writing as you whilst having breakfast in Hotel Cheyenne. Even though I've been here since Thursday, I thought I would focus on the main events of Disneyland Paris. We still said that before. Opening ceremony and parade was great to see the Fab Five chip Dale, Clarice and Stitch in their Pride costumes for the night uh, have attached photos, which I probably shouldn't read out because I don't have them here. Uh, it was interesting that the DLP CEO didn't make an appearance, unlike last year. Big Disney diehard fans there, so it probably was to avoid some chanting, maybe. Character meet and greets. Rainbow Stitch was the biggest of cues. Would you like to meet Rainbow Stitch? No, I'm not. A fan of Stitch. Everybody in my class is obsessed. Really? I don't get the rage. <laughs> <laughs> How? Like, what is the rage? Is it just because he doesn't pick you in the live shows? No. <laughs> no, honest. Um, Rainbow Stitch was the biggest cues, and if you didn't want to spend half your night queuing up, then you weren't seeing him. That's a shame, isn't it? So, you, see, things like this, sometimes you have to pick what it is you're going to do, and you have to commit to that. So if you want to meet a certain character, you're going to have to dedicate quite a lot of time to that. Um, Studio One selfie spots were great, with all the rainbow, Fab Five, uh, uh, Chip, Dale and Clarice. Most were on the ground, so you were able to get some great shots. But the standout character meets were in Avengers Campus. Sam, Captain America, Captain Marvel, Black Widow and Doctor Strange were walking up and down Avengers Campus, hanging out with guests, taking selfies, doing signatures, and just having fun with the guests. Uh, the Black Widow and Captain Marvel catwalk challenge was a highlight. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Catwalk challenge. Yeah. You know what that is? No. Well, it's literally you just uh, you know you know you know a, a, a catwalk for for fashion models. Yeah. When they do the walk down the thing. Yeah. Sometimes you can have a bit of a battle between two to see who's got the best 
like catwalk. Mm. Me and my friends used to do it on gravel in our socks because it kind of forces you into doing a, an awkward walk. I can recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> you are strange. Uh, speaking of strange, who would you like to meet out of those? Captain America, Captain Marvel, Black Widow, Doctor Strange? Um, Any of those stand out to you? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. you, you're not massive on Marvel yet, are you? No. No. You will be. You will be. <laughs> merch and food. I like these headings, actually. Thank you. All the standard Pride merch and pins came out on Friday and Saturday morning. The DLP exclusive stuff was the T-shirt, reusable tumbler, and the Rainbow Mickey balloon popcorn bucket. There was also special magnums, cupcakes, and rainbow shots that were all tasty. We'll get to the chat in a minute as well, by the way. I've not, I've not forgotten about you guys. Music. I didn't stay around for the performances as I was running around for characters and the 10 minute wait for Crush. 10 minutes on Crush. Yes. Do you think you'll ever go on Crush? Don't know. Because mm. I don't know what it is. The rollercoaster. It spins around, but other than that, it's it's not too bad. I think, well, do you know what? You've done Cosmic Rewind. <laughs> you can handle you can handle Crush's coaster. Let's sort this camera out because you're disappearing off the bottom there. Um, few of our group did, and they said it was underwhelming. This is the um, performances. Uh, Callum Scott didn't perform due to technical, which I assume is in your news section today. Yes, it is. Um, but was walking around areas telling guests that he offered to do an acoustic set, but Disney said no. Hmm. Overall, it was a great night. Would definitely come again. I didn't go for the music acts, so I had a great time. Definitely recommend. Now that's interesting. Many thanks, Ashley. Thank you, Ashley, for that report. And um, thanks for sending it so quickly while you're still on your trip because, uh, you know, it's uh, it's very current stuff and we like that. We're up to date now. I like it. Um, so, yeah, if you're not into, if you're not there for the musical performances, we've got a different side of it because some of the people who were, and a lot of them were, didn't have such a good time as we'll find out in a, in, in a bit. Should we look at the chat, Bonnie? See Wits what... Wanderlust said... It's not worth it, Bonnie. It's just a less fun version of Cosmic Rewind. Well, we'll see. Um, I like the theming inside. I did the um, single rider queue, um, and I vaguely remember the, the inside theming was good. It's all sort of um, like down on the docks theming. It's quite mm. fun, like wooden docks. Anyway, let's look in the chat, shall we? All aboard, please. Uh, that's you just closing it. Thanks, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Live chats. Come on. Live chat has moved. Oh, come on. I'm going to close this down and go back in. Sorry, everyone. We're Sorry, just um, we're doing our best here, all right? Right, here we go. Live chat. So, first in the chat today. <sighs> I shut it down. My God, bear with us. Right, we're here, we're here, we're here. First in the chat today, if this happens again, we're in big trouble. <laughs> I don't scroll up too fast. Was Flying Flusky, who says, oh man, I wanted to be first in the chat for my first live show. Ah, oh, well, I'll try again next week. But you, you did it, Flying you Flusky. Are. You're first in the chat. Maybe, I hope Flying Flusky didn't get upset and leave. Because you did it, you're first in the chat, and as we all know, that earns uh, one respect point. And uh, when you get 100, uh, you get 10 bonus respect points. Um, let's start with this one. It says, hey everyone, can't wait for the show tonight. I was so tempted to just book a day trip this week. Oh dear. Does that mean you've had a bad week? And you're like, I just want to go to Disneyland, Paris. <laughs> Do you ever feel like that at school? You've been in maths test this week, haven't you? Yeah. And you're like, I just want to go to Disneyland. <laughs> or a um, Disney cruise Hello to Sam To start I have one question Next week I will have uh, had my first day in Disney We stay at Compass Club Newport Bay My question is How does it work with the luggage Oh dear I don't know Chris would know If Chris is in the chat <laughs> Do let us know But I don't know Because uh, I don't know about Compass Club And uh, I haven't stayed at uh, Newport Bay I'm afraid This is what happens when uh, the other two are missing um, You don't get the information But you do get the fun Right? What do you bring the cuteness? 
And, and, and the giant mickeys that take up almost all the screen. Well, Sam adds, and uh, if anyone can answer this in the chat, do they take it? Do we take it ourselves? Do we let them know what we would like? Well, if anyone knows uh, any, any answers to Sam's question, please let us know. It uh, seems those are more than one question. Yes. <laughs> uh, where's, you know, sub subheadings of the, the main question. The Dunn family. Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a good day. In Paphos tonight... Now, internet, not very good. Have a great show. Well, enjoy your trip. Um, shame about the internet. Ah, oh, Kerry uh, is, uh, is, seems to be picking up on some of the questions for Sam. Thanks, Kerry. Uh, and hello. Gareth Pierce, theme parks. Hi, all. Good today. I missed last week's show. Well, us too, Gareth. But you're here now, and that's the main thing. I Chris was here last week. You missed him. Uh, so he'll be, he'll be back again well. soon. He'll be back again soon. Um... Yeah, like, like I said in the chat, uh, things are going to settle down eventually. We're just, uh, Lucy's got a unique course at the moment. I'm very busy, but some some days I tend to have just enough time. Uh, but Chris is rehearsing for Sweeney Todd as well. Uh, you should be in bed because it's school, but um, we've let you off tonight. Um, right. Hello to Andrew and Sam. And uh, this is another Sam, I believe. No, it's not. It's the same one. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> It off. Um, hi to Mel. We left everything in the car last year and went back for it when we could check in later in the day. That's a tip for you there, Sam. Hi to Anne and Wits Wanderlust and uh, me. I've appeared in chat somehow. Wait, what? No, it was me telling everyone before the show that it was just going to be us two. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said it was a uh, daddy daughter show, and Kerry said, That sounds awesome. And Sam said, it's Best so kind sweet. of shows. My daughter loves her daddy. Oh. <laughs> um, who is Nate and I are in separate locations tonight as I'm still in hospital. Oh, it's Wanderlust Whitney. Come on. Uh, I hope you're feeling uh, not too bad and um, you're on the mend very soon. Sending our best thoughts and wishes to you, aren't we? Get well soon. Um, what else we got? Jimmy, did they say Jimmy? We've got Mark with a Q. It's snowing in Dewsbury, question mark. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, it's been raining a lot. A lot? Yeah, hasn't it? Uh, which is good because uh, there's not been any rain for about two weeks, so I'm loving it. Hello to Emma and Mark with a C. Greetings, looking forward to the chaos of Daddy Daughter Show. It is chaos, isn't it? It's chaos when I'm around. No, I think it's more to do with me, Bonnie, to be honest. Chaos um, with the massive Mickeys. Oh, hang on. Which Wanderlust says, I think he means snowed in like overwhelmed. Yes. Yes. That's, um, thanks, <laughs> Whitney. I kind of didn't pick up on that. I thought, I thought I must have said something about snow, but uh, turns out I meant snowed in, snowed under. Hi to Diogo and Katia and Ross and Kira. Not first, no. People here at like ten past these days. You got to be, you got to be quick. Hi, and Jen Ren and Linda. Any more questions, Cheryl? Hello. Um, Kerry says I'm not one to queue, but I'd love a more natural interaction. That's probably something that I've missed earlier. Oh, well, sorry. Hello to Alan. Stop the press. Today we have arranged a spur-of-the-moment trip to Disneyland, California for September. Jealous. We haven't been to California. Maybe one day we will. Would you like to try that? It's the original park. Mm. I mean, you'd have to... You can just turn up like you're a child. You should just be like, yeah. I can't believe you're even thinking about it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Hi to Jenny. She says late hello. And Daisy's here, and uh, Team Confetti. Hi, everyone, just made it in time. Yeah, we've got a report from you coming up. Team Confetti, Disney Bride is here. Right, I think that's about everyone. I'm really sorry if I missed anyone. Kelfi, Chris is here. He says, um, he says, just drove back from Dewsbury, and it was horrendous. That's no way to talk about Dewsbury, is it? But my grass is getting a good soaking. True that. Anyway. If I did miss anyone, which I probably did, I do apologise. It's not intentional. I love you all. Equally. Right. Let's go back to uh, the task at hand. Now, Callum Scott. Have you heard of Callum Scott, Bonnie? Because you're, you're, you're a young person. No. Well, Bonnie, you were singing uh, Louis Capaldi in the car today, and uh, she knew all the words, and I'd never heard this song, and I don't know how she knows all the words to a song that we don't listen to. But that's how young and vibrant she is. But uh, you haven't heard Callum Scott. Um, I think he was a winner of X Factor, was he? Or oh, Britain's Got Talent? I don't know. I'm in my 40s, so I don't I don't know these things. 
It's no excuse, is it? But Callum Scott was unable to perform at the Pride event due to a technical issue. Now, the thing is, Callum Scott uh, was due to perform in front of everybody. Uh, and when was told they couldn't, it was walking around uh, telling the guests, I've offered to do an acoustic set, but they won't let me. Um, you know, I'm not sure why that is. I can't imagine they just folded their arms and said, no, you're not doing that. There must have been a, re a good reason, I, I assume. Um, so it's a shame. And he seemed gutted. Um, he just, he, uh, on his Twitter, straightening the camera, sorry. He um, he just shared DLP reports, news about it, with a broken heart um, emoji. So he's gutted. I mean, imagine it, Bonnie. You're, uh, you're looking forward to performing at this big event. And then you just told at the last Disney. Yeah, and you told at the last minute you can't do it. Um and there's video of, of Callum walking around like this and just looks absolutely gutted and I feel terrible. Um posted this on um his Instagram stories. Uh well Paris, even though this trip didn't go exactly as planned, as gutted as I am, I've still got some great memories to keep. Hmm. Oh indeed, isn't that nice? I'd just be furious. <laughs> Callum seems to take things in Callum's stride. Um, some of the comments were, now uh, off Twitter I found, at Michael J.C. Brooks tweeted, no information, no apology, DLP cancelled the only international artist, plus rides being pulled everywhere. Uh, uh, yeah, well that's the only comment I've got. <laughs> yeah, so some unhappy people there at Pride. It's a shame. Question. Yeah? Uh, how are the strikes going in the other? I think, uh, I think, is it? Um, has anyone got any experience with the uh, strike action this week? Strike. Uh, how's it going over there? Um, yeah, so we've done the um, pride report. So thanks for that, Ashley. Um, let's do the. Um, I still want to know what. Um, hmm? I still want to know what. I just need to check something. I'm going to log into something on the fly. Let me see. Du, 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 du. Bonnie, um, we've booked to go to Paris soon. What are you looking forward to? Um, uh, the resort. The resort, yeah, because we're staying. I've never been to You have. Well, we're staying at... Um, Two resorts. Uh -oh. No, no, this is uh, Paris. Oh, right. Um, I'm excited for the resort because isn't that the one? Are still excited for the resort even though it's Paris and not Florida that I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Which resort is it again? Uh, Sakai Lodge. Yes! <laughs> the Bambi one, as we call it. As a lot of people call it. <laughs> uh, let's, right, while that's loading, I'm just going to do this. Uh, we have a report from... Tokyo. Tokyo. Now, like I say, we don't often do this. Uh, I'll actually, I'll actually read what Chris said uh, in his, his email to me. He said, uh, "This is the Tokyo report. See what you think. No pressure to read it out. I can go back and say it's not appropriate for the show if you want me to. But at the same time, how much Eastern insight do we get? See, this is the kind of conversations we have. It's like, do we do we read this out? And we all decided, absolutely, let's read this one out. So, this is from. Olga, a.k.a. Team Confetti, uh, who have joined us in the chat today. Hello. So, hi there, Lucy, Hugh and Chris. And now, Bonnie. Uh, not sure if it's allowed, but maybe fun to shake things up. Yes, we agree. Uh, if I we, know Chris. If we were getting these all the time, we would have to say, mm, just keep it to Paris, but because we don't, it's good to get the, the odd different um, report, isn't it? Um, I went to Tokyo Disney and decided to write a trip report about it. Even if you can't use it for the podcast, it's a fun read anyway. I've included some pictures. Right, so here we go. Just in case there are people around here that are thinking about exploring Disney outside of Europe and the US, I wrote a trip report of the day I spent at Tokyo Disneyland. I didn't plan a trip to Japan for Disney specifically, but I managed to convince the friend I was traveling with to visit both Disneyland and Disney Sea. While writing the report, though, I quickly found out that describing both days would get way too long. So this is the trip report about Tokyo Disneyland. Enjoy. We stayed at a lovely hotel called the Eurasia Maihama Hotel. Uh, it is not a Disney hotel, but it is a, 
walking distance, 15 minutes from Tokyo Disney Sea, and a short free shuttle bus service away from Tokyo Disneyland. The hotel has a massive free communal bathhouse and spa and a very nice breakfast buffet. Oishi kata. That's, uh, that was delicious in Japanese. Um, or just oishi for short. They, they have plenty of Western, Western and Japanese options at the breakfast to fill you up. And they play Disney songs during breakfast to get you in the mood, which was a nice touch. We started our day at Tokyo Disneyland, set, sitting in the sun and munching on a Mike Wazowski melon bread. That sounds good. They do, I think they do good, good, um, good snacks over in Tokyo. And just taking it all in. One of my favourite things about Tokyo Disney turned out to be people watching. Although the people of Japan dress pretty subdued and comfortable in daily life, in Disney they go all out. Uh, we saw many matching outfits, crazy hats, backpacks covered in tiny plush keychains, and the most glorious of all, the popcorn buckets. Have you ever seen a popcorn bucket you like the look of? Not yet. Not even the figment one? No. <clears throat> Definitely not. Uh, let's see. Uh, we saw... Oh, we've done that bit. Um, every other person was wearing one, and they were all beautiful and intricate. This is the popcorn buckets. And so many different ones. There are a lot of different popcorn carts scattered around the park with fun flavours like matcha, white chocolate, and spicy shrimp. Wow. What? See, we get Nutella and um, Laughing Cow Cheese. Um, uh Oh, that's it, more Nutella. But look, look are you listening to this? It sounds great. Uh, it took me all day to decide which popcorn bucket I wanted for myself and ended up with the Winnie the Pooh one. It is a honey pot shape with poo on the side, dipping his paw in the honey. Kawaii. You know what kawaii means? Cute. Yes. Pushy thing. Yes, cute. After Small World, it was time to... Oh, I like it's just, you know, after Small World. It's just obligatory. No mention of the ride. Uh, it was time to quickly find a spot for the 40th anniversary parade. Everyone brings a little sheet with them and sits down on the ground. Oh my god, I love the Japan, the like Japanese, like, um, like they're just so polite. And uh, the, do you know at Paris, you, you know, when everyone sat down, but then someone stands up, so then everyone has to stand up, and it happens every time. Mm -hmm. um, I just love, I just love them. Uh, so everyone sits down on the ground. That way, everyone can get a good look at the floats. Oh, man, we need to go to this <laughs> to this place. The crowds are also pretty quiet, but waves frantically to every character that comes past. So cute. The floats were beautiful and colourful and had many characters on that you rarely see in DLP, like Marie and her brothers. Pocahontas and a strange world float to close the parade. Ah. Marie. Do you like the sound of the Marie float? Yeah. And the brothers. After the parade, we were a little overwhelmed by the crowd and the heat, 30 plus degrees. Uh, that's Florida level, isn't it? But we found the perfect attraction to recover uh, from the madness. The Enchanted Tiki Room with Stitch. Yes, you read that right. In Japan, they have an, they've added Stitch to the Tiki Room, where he cheekily takes over halfway through the show. I've never been to the American park, so I don't know how it compares, but I adored the Tiki Room. Such a nice way to relax in the shade with singing birds, flowers, rocks and trees all around me. Now you said earlier you're not that into Stitch, but um, would you at least like to see what how that played out? Stitch in the Tiki Room, I bet's interesting. Once, you, you'd, what? You'd, you'd see it once. What? Emma says I had exactly the same reaction to uh, the Marie Float as Bonnie. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Um, no, it just sounded interesting. I, I love to, we love Tiki Room here at um, Thirty Seven DS. But uh, I'd be interested to see what the Stitch one's like. Lucy's here. Are you making it into the show? Am I allowed to? Yeah, you'll have, to, you'll have to get a chair. All right. Um, we had a small break on a bench. After that, with a refreshing 40th anniversary drink with bits of jelly in, and then joined the queue for Pirates of the Caribbean. I missed the awesome queue they built in DLP. Oh, sorry, they have in DLP. But the ride itself was very different, very fun, very immersive, great animatronics, and Jack Sparrow was everywhere. We've got two Jacks, no, three Jack Sparrows, haven't, haven't we, in Paris? One, two, yeah, three. And is there... There's one one in a... I, uh, uh, three. There's one in a um, barrel. Yeah. There's one kind of looking like that. Pe peering around a corner does, doesn't work well for audio, Lucy. Okay, it's peering around a corner, and then the, the one at the end on the chair. Yeah. Have I missed any? Uh, no, I believe that's it, unless there's a... Now, we'd know if there was another one, don't we? 
Uh, a few quick pictures in front of the castle, and then we went on the hunt for some food. We had salad and unbirthday cake at the amazingly Alice in Wonderland themed Queens of Hearts banquets, and a steamed Mickey glove bun and chips at the Huey Louie and Dewey Cafe in Toontown. Come on, the what? This is in Tokyo. Did, oh, did okay. We're the in what? a steamed Mickey glove bun. Mm. I've never heard such a thing. Do you oh, like the sound of Huey, the... Dewey and Louie? I want to go to Tokyo. Bonnie lo is loving... Uh, she's, what, she's on like a fourth watch of DuckTales. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So she likes the sound of the Huey, Dewey and Louie ca Cafe in Toontown. We chose Monsters, Inc. Ride and Seek as our next attraction. It took about 45 minutes... But we again had lots of people watching to do, pop, people watching to do, and once inside the building, we could enjoy the amazing theming during the wait. The ride was the same principle as Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast, but instead of a gun, you get a flashlight, and instead of shooting, you shine at little monsters, um, ink uh, monsters ink logos, and something fun appears. It was very cute, and the animatronics were again amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I do like the ride and seek, um, the, the sound of this ride. I just. We should go to Tokyo. We should. We'll get, get it on the list. After that, my friend called it a night and I ventured on solo. Oh, can you imagine? The freedom. <laughs> what? Going on? What? <laughs> I don't know, this isn't, this isn't directed at anyone, but you know, just the freedom to like, just walk around on your own. It'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Get rid of us, just walk around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be all right on our own, won't we, Bonnie? <laughs> Although I tend to do that if you two go into you a show, do do that. show that I don't want to watch. You do. You ha you have quite a lot of wander around on your own time, to be fair. Yeah, I do. You've made um, a whole video all wearing it. He's got a whole old alter ego. But like it was, we were saying, do you want to come and see Cirque du Soleil with us? Because we've got two free tickets, but we could buy a third. And he thought about it. And went, no, I want to make a Daz video instead. Look up um, Dazney, Dazney Springs on YouTube. Maybe maybe pop my name in. It's worth your time. He does uh, what he calls an indefensible guide. My indefensible guide <laughs> to Disney Springs, yeah. Right, after that, my friend called it night. Uh, yes, so starting with Pooh's Honey Hunt, a trackless dark ride past all kinds of cute Pooh scenes. Pooh is my favourite, so of course I loved it. When I got out of Pooh's Honey Hut, the electrical parade had already started. I quickly sat down somewhere and enjoyed a couple of amazingly lit up floats. Lucy, all the people in Japan sit on little mats and just enjoy the show. And, oh and my God, that sounds brilliant. So, I've seen this on vlogs before. So civilised. It's sensible though. That's good decision that, That's making. the thing. It's not It's not about being meek or like anything like that. It's just, it just makes total sense, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like just, they have a collective like intelligence. Uh, I've uh, thought this at outdoor in, gigs. Right, quite often you're waiting for a band to come on and you sit down in your field and you're all happy and you've got like your picnic laid out and then whatever band you come to watch comes and everybody stands up and you're like, why? Mm. We could all see the stage. Yeah. Ruined it. Madness. Madness. Uh, so, with an eye on the clock and still a few things to do before park close, I then got up again, quickly snatched up my beloved poo popcorn bucket at uh, the shops and joined the queue for the Beauty and the Beast ride just in time. This ride is the newest, the biggest, and the most impressive out of all the rides in Tokyo Disneyland, and has an extremely long wait times all day. I only waited for 40 minutes, and during that time, I was led through the entirety of Beauty and the Beast Castle, with many of the characters in animatronic form along the way. Yes, they actually built a second castle besides the Cinderella Castle in Tokyo Disneyland, and at the end of the queue, I stepped into a trackless teacup and whizzed through amazing scenes of uh, the movie. Dancing plates and cups, the beast in the snow, amazing transformations, and the ballroom scene at the end. It was an absolutely spectacular end to a wonderful day. And for everyone who is a little spooked by the cultural differences and the Japanese language, please don't be. Especially in Tokyo, almost everyone knows enough English to help you out. Uh, they handle each other and you, the obvious tourists with utmost respect. Yes, they do. Uh, it's very clean, very polite, and very affordable once you get there. This is all what we found. It's yeah. a long time ago we went, but... Exactly, like people say, it's expensive. It is to get there, it's not when you're there. Did we go in 2007? Does that sound about right? Have yeah. you been to Tokyo before? We've yeah. been to Tokyo, and not Tokyo Disneyland, though. No. At the time, we were poor, we were young, yeah. and we would sleep in dormitories with 12 other people. Mm -hmm. That's all, all in could, one big bed. All we could afford oh, to yeah, do. Oh, yeah, because didn't you... There was an earthquake. earthquake. Yeah, I told you about the earthquake, and all the bunk beds started rattling. Mm -hmm. We had triple-decker bunk beds in that youth hostel. Tipping in Japan is non-existent, so when they treat you especially nice, it's because they want 
you to get good service and not because they expect something in return. We found that because Lucy tried to tip and she was chased out of the restaurant. Chased out yeah. to give us our money back. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> I, for one, cannot wait to get back and next time I'll be taking my family. Best Olga, a.k.a. Team Confetti from the Netherlands. Olga, that was a great report. That was very good. Can I ask, because I only can't have it. Yeah. Did she mention what the Disney bounding game is like over there? Uh, she said everyone dresses uh, crazily. That's good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I would have to go ultrasonic if I went to Tokyo. I'd have to take my current game, which, let's all face it, is pretty high. And I would have to raise it to Olympic level. Disney bounding, don't you think? Yeah. Thank you for your support on that. Me? <laughs> Everyone, both of you. There's two of you. I'm logging into something. So uh, keep talking. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Would you want to go to Tokyo? Mm. Mm. It's a very long flight. It's 12 hours. You don't think so? Well, maybe we just tell you we're going to Florida. Get you on the plane. I asked her earlier if she'd Tokyo. like... I asked her earlier if she'd like to go to um, California. She was like, eh, eh, so you know? just say, yeah, all right, if you're taking me. She she just likes her things, does Bonnie. She likes I what like she knows. I like what I like. I like what I like. And, and what you like is what you already know, isn't it? The yeah. thing is, we'd take you somewhere new and you'd like that too, and then that would become your thing. Mm. Have you heard of Callum Scott? It rings a bell. Yeah. Well, she just saying, because like, uh, Bonnie's young, so she might have heard of of, uh, of Callum Scott. Uh, I've heard of uh, them, but uh, I'm not familiar with the music. But um, Oh, they're a seems, music. People. Seems like a very nice person. That's what I garnered from my research about the Disney Pride fiasco with the uh, non-performance. You know, you know about all this? Oh, I know that uh, there was technical issues and mm. he didn't perform, but I don't know why. No, I don't think anyone does, really. And, oh, OK. Uh, yeah. Mind you, we're just regurgitating what we've already been through <laughs> just for... OK. okay. Um, yeah, have okay, you got your phone? Okay. Are you able to get some uh, messages while, yeah, I'm, while, while I'm doing this? Oh, you should have come and got it. Earlier, I was just... No, I've been, I've been doing it on here, but I, I, I'm doing about three things at once. I was just glancing at chat earlier and... Um... Glancing at chat? <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you said it. Go on. Um, and I saw something. I just want to... You want to see the chat? Something in the chat. Okay. I think I saw <sighs> oh, no moment to both about it. Right, so nobody's talking right now, so... No. Um, Somebody talk. Does anyone know when bookings for the next summer will be released, says Mel? Uh, as far as... No. As far as the packages are concerned, I'm afraid we don't. No, um, but if anyone does in the chat, again, please let us know. Let us know. I know that um, for Disney World, the, tend to, the new packages tend to drop about April time, usually. They drop. Mm. We're going to book, provisionally book, uh, Florida for next year, next Sunday, but we'll be booking DVC points, so it's very, it's more like putting a putting a pin in it, really, isn't it? <laughs> mm. Just getting, making sure you've got a room and then making decisions later. Everyone's saying hello, Lucy. Hello, everybody. Um, Mark Chester says uh, he's added Tokyo to the bucket list. Tokyo's been on my bucket list since the beginning, I'm afraid. I mean, we loved to we loved Japan, didn't we? Yeah. We loved it when we went. And I was, I was like, I want to go back, I want to live there. Um, and then the Disney aspect, since we're not quite as poor as we were when we were 24, um, means that that's, yeah, top of the bucket list. And it's just... It's just getting there, I think. Because like you say, once you're actually there, it's it's no more expensive than France or Florida, I don't think. Is it? No, we could save money by walking there a bit at a time. You would do that. Do you know, I added up um, once because, you know, we've moved further away from my work and I walked to work and I added up that I was walking 100 miles a month. I was it 100, 100 kilometres, um, but I'd walked as far as Yemen at one point. And then walked across Minsk, so I was doing all the friends um, yeah. lo locations. Right. Anyway, we've got one more thing coming up. But uh, anything else to add, guys? Uh, only that I'm surprised that Minsk is further away than Yemen, but I suppose it's just a different direction, isn't it? 
Okay, that's me thinking about things. Uh, anything to add? I did have something to add when I came down here and I can't remember what it was. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. I'm sorry I'm late and I'm not in my Disney brain. Right. Okay. Uh, the final thing we had um, on the docket was from Fiona, um, who um, says, uh, this shouldn't turn into a full trip review, but I wanted to just send on the princess breakfast photos I took. Not home yet, but hiding from the heat in the hotel bar, so it's as good as time as any. So this is two people who've um, sent reports, like, from Disneyland Paris, like, on the ground. Um, I added these photographs to Twitter. So now, I tend to do this for, uh, like, this is people like me who would listen to a podcast at work, and while you're listening, you think, oh, well, I want to see that, and then you can open in a separate tab and search for the pictures. So it's not so good if you're watching on YouTube because you might have to pause it. But this is just explaining like who it's for. It's the person like me who listens at work to the podcasts. But uh, if you go on Twitter and search for the hashtag 37 Disney Street Breakfast, um, you'll be able to see these photographs that uh, Fiona sent about the princess breakfast. So main difference I noticed entering the park for the first time. Uh, sorry, sorry, for the first sitting. Then when we went last year to the Plaza Gardens, was that a cast member stands at the castle end of Main Street and directs Plaza Gardens guests left just before the gardens and auberge guests towards the castle. It meant it was really easy to get empty castle pictures as while um, as while I was there, no plaza guests tried to go towards it. Mm. So yeah, you go like <laughs> they're, they're kind of like um, it's like a sieve. They're like catching the people, mm. you know. Before 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 they get there, say, where are you going? Right, this way. You're not going over there. Get in there to Plaza Gardens. Um, in Auberge, only the small area of the restaurant by the windows um, where you can see the carriage outside. In Auberge, only the small area of the restaurant by the windows where you can see the carriage outside. Maybe that's the only open part of the restaurant for breakfast. Maybe that's what she's trying to say. Right. Because there's several rooms. I mean, I can only rem really remember the room that we oh. sat in. But I did see like archways going to other rooms. It's because uh, split infinitive. <laughs> it says here, right, okay, I'm gonna read the sentence again. In Auberge, only the small area of the restaurant by the windows where you can see the carriage outside, I hope that makes sense, was open. So there was at most 15 tables. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the was open bit was at the other side of the bracket, so that's why I got confused. Oh, sweetie, you keep saying what's this? She's hot. Oh, she's hot. Let's uh, waft you. Uh, we saw th um, three princesses and it was really relaxed and quiet. Uh, now, if you look at these pictures, uh, child plate had two waffles rather than one, but my daughter was tucking in before I got a picture. So we've got a menu here that uh, we, uh, we can look at. Uh, adult menu, 60 euros. Let me hold this up to the screen. Can you see this? Nope, you can't. Uh, savory and sweet verines. What's, what is that? I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. I apologise for my ignorance. Hot dish. Waffle. Not terrines, no? Mm, terrines. Mm. Okay. Smoked salmon, uh, fruit salad, uh, fromage blanc with mango coulis. Hot dishes, waffles, scrambled eggs. Th these sausages look a bit um, interesting here. Look at these sausages. What do you think of to those, Bonnie? Mmm. <laughs> I can't Ooh, imagine. Ooh, that whole breakfast looks delicious to me with asparagus on it and fried potatoes. I am holding it up to the screen, uh, oh, and then it decides to rotate. Thanks for that. Uh, uh, what you, you think that's uh, like a good breakfast? Yeah, I like the the look of it. This waffle with the uh, with Cinderella on it. Same. Yeah, it looks like a little dome of rice, but that's scrambled egg. And some... Oh, I thought it's mashed potato. Mm. No, it's scrambled egg. Oh, it's scrambled. Egg. It's breakfast, darling. There's these three little. Um, They'll be parfait pots, won't they? Are these these farine things? It'd be like yogurty, oaty things. That's that's the mango coolie, isn't it? I think this is what we were talking about before. Anyway, well, that was just a little mini like look at the uh, Prince's breakfast. Uh, we've eaten there for lunch, haven't we? Mm. Was it lunch? Yeah, um, it was lunch, yeah. something like that. Uh, yes, it definitely was lunch. Would, would, should, would we do that again? Because it was a long. It was uh, twenty. 17 we did we that, were doing it? it when she was under three mm. um and it was cute watching her sing along with the princesses but we didn't have to pay for her food but they do give them food they just give them a very small plate with a little you know 
tiny splodge of something because she was two she barely ate anything i can't remember what she got it wasn't much so i mean it's very expensive and it was expensive for two adults but it wasn't for three and now we have to pay for three and it's only a year off we'll have to pay for three adults mm. isn't that bonkers look at the size of her it's crazy <laughs> and she won't eat anything no it's ridiculous um so maybe we won't <laughs> I, d I don't know if it's quite worth it. Now, if it's your first time and you've got a princess mad girl, I would say go for it. But you're not quite as princess mad as you used to be, are you? No. And we've been a few times, so we're like, we're over it, babes. We're over it. Um, I do think it's a nice experience, though. Any news on the ongoing developments at Downtown Disney? Yeah, there was some more concept art this week. Did you manage to catch that, Hugh, in the news? No. I just remember seeing it just when I saw that then. Just remember the third item, though, that we haven't covered yet. Go on. Um, well, I might need to look and see if I can find this concept right. out. But it was from the other side. You um, have a look. Okay. But um, there was also, this happened today. Uh, what was the headline, Bonnie? Um, Drain Street Parade? Yes, yeah, I like it. It's a good pun, isn't it? Um, so after some stormy weather today, and it's been pretty, pretty wet here, uh, all outdoor attractions closed. And there was even ankle deep flooding around the hub. Uh, this is based on a photograph I saw. It looked about ankle deep, but um, just in front of the castle, I think it was. Yeah, there was like uh, like quite quite a large body of water had appeared. So some like rare flooding. Do we have the um, picture? I'm afraid not. It'll be on DLP report, mm. who also got a good shot of some lightning over Thunder Mesa. These two were not impressed with that news. I thought it was... <laughs> I bet that looks amazing. That was good, yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that was all the news. So have you found this concept art? We do have the concept art. Can't get rid of that, though. Um, what is this? This is the village looking um, out... Disney Village. Disney Village looking out from... And we're getting this off DLP report. <laughs> I think we must... We need to start giving them commission, don't we? Um, and it's looking out from the side of what used to be Planet Hollywood, but is no more. The closest thing to you, that will be the edge of Annette's here. And then that's going on the bank of shops that you'll be looking at. Now, it's very kind of sketchy. What we can see is they've got rid of those sort of steel spiral columns that looked very 90s. They seem to have got rid of the... Um, they seem to have got rid of the little stages and extra podium bits. Mm. It all looks a bit squarer than it used to. Is that a word? More yeah. angular than it used to. There's more trees, I think. Mm. They do seem to be sanitising and de-theming um, everything, don't they? They don't seem to have the confidence of their own design ideas anymore. It's weird because you go to Disney for like... You want to be in that kind of Disney world, High don't you? High concept stuff, yeah. Like, especially in Florida, all the resorts are getting these, like, luxury makeovers, but they're just really dull, really clean, really straight, you know, and that, they're getting rid of some of the cabins, aren't they, in uh, Wilderness Lodge? They are. They look quite nice. They though. do look quite nice, but I prefer a wood cabin, you know. I want this kind of timeless-looking stuff. and not. And they're updating things, and they're looking quite modern, and it's a bit of a shame. So that's your front elevation of the Bank of Shops. If you go on D DLP Report and look at their... Yeah. Their what? Uh, weekly newsletter. You can find it on Twitter. Their news roundup. And they've got all this. But what you've got is quite a long, thin image showing the designs for the front of the shops, but you can't read any of the uh, titles. It's just a load of mismatched boxes. It's, I reserve judgment because I'm often a little bit skeptical when I hear about things or see things, but Disney don't often fail. I just think that they're getting away from, I think it's because our generation remembers the Disney stars in the nineties when it was all plush mountains and big figures and, and like, rotating artwork in the centre and all that kind of thing. And now things have got a lot more streamlined, minimalist, practical. And that's not what I think when I think Disney, really. It is taking the fun out of it. Mm. I think whimsical is the word for how it used to be, isn't it? Mm. But also, I fell in love with Disney because everything was like a film set. So, like, Cheyenne is like a film, literally like a film set, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, a 
and most of the ones in the highly themed things like Sequoia Lodge and New Park Bay, they've got this really theme theme. Now, if they take out the nautical aspect and just put characters in, they might think that's theming, but it just doesn't feel it. Doesn't feel like you've immersed in a world to me. Anyway, that's a that's a land. A lot of it's economic. It's easy to repaint white walls rather than teal walls. Mark says more greenery gets my vote. It does, but on these concept concept images, arts, I always put a load of copy and paste trees in anything. Don't you, you remember the big studios concept art from a few years ago that everyone like drop drop everything. This is like. You know, we got got to talk about this Star Wars land, Avengers, mm. Frozen. Uh, the trees on that, it looked so lush. It was like a forest almost with like these attractions in it. And it's not going to look anything like that. It never does. Um, Mac also says, uh, love hugging trees. I've never hugged a tree, actually. Oh, I have. I've had, I, have. I pulled one down today and sawed it into tiny pieces and put it in five <laughs> bags. And then we all went to the tip, didn't we? Yes, that uh, is... But that's the opposite of hugging a tree. It was dead. Killing a tree. It was dead, by the way. Ros Mabbott says, We've done Princess Meal a few times. 14 years ago, it included free photos on entry with Cinderella and free wine with the meal. Times have changed. Free wine? Now, we, when we did it in um, Cinderella's Royal Table in Florida, we did have, a, like, a photo call as you went in, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Um, and it was on the memory maker, but yeah, it's that's something else. The streamlining, yeah, <laughs> what they'll give you for free. Uh, Sam just reminded me. Oh, by the way, mm. and this reminds me of something else. I want to say well done to Chris because uh, Chris, uh, all his family, Chris, Laura, Lucas, and Ollie, all did the um, race for life or run for your life, as I call it. Uh, 3k this morning all, all of them so um yeah well done to them well done fletchers should we have sponsored them probably oh we'll give them a five minutes week okay um yeah sam says by the way what did you think of sam for god's video yeah. last week or did you not see it now last week there was mm. all people kind of hinting at uh, something that happened to sam for god friend of the show um and i was saying oh i got watch this I was almost rubbing my hands but when i watched it it was quite serious um something really strange happened in uh, this hotel she was staying in that she'd not stayed at before this cheap hotel and it was a bit hammer horror wasn't it, it like i'd had caffeine that day and i was like really tense like um as this story built up but these people would do it there's something very weird going on what watch the video um but it's just a reminder to you know solo travelers um just be careful uh she's fine um and wiser for it i guess but um she shouldn't have to be she should be you know it just it's a very it was a very weird situation just watch sam for god's video there was um, you see i'm quite a ballsy um solo traveler i like solo traveling i still solo travel now even though i've got a family how would you have handled that uh oh no they just they'd puddle on the floor <laughs> puddle. i wouldn't have known i wouldn't have done what she did i wouldn't know enough people but last time i went to oxford i um she had some local friends that could mm. come and help her out Anyway, you need to watch it anyway. I got in a cheap hotel and there was just something about it and the way the guy showed me to the room and down a funny corridor that was off to one side, there was no one else on my floor. Where? In Oxford. Oh. And I ended up texting my friends going, if I don't turn up in the morning, look for my body in room 14 of this hotel. You didn't tell me. I, was, I didn't want to. I didn't want to worry you. Mm. Um, <laughs> I was only half joking. Anyway, I think I told you what hotel I was in for safety reasons. Mark saying, anyone ridden the updated Small World Ride yet? Thoughts? So, no. So let us know. I mean, we, not, not us, but anyone. We are on a countdown of about seven weeks now, I think. So we are. Which, yeah. Too far away, really. But also, just close enough. <laughs> mm. Yeah. It's always nice to go back, isn't it? What are you looking forward to, Bunny? I think I asked her earlier, and uh, she, she was like, well, she said the resorts. I bet she thought I was talking about Florida. But then I said, no. well, what about Paris? And she said, the resort. No, I thought Paris. I thought we were talking about Paris. Sequoia. We were at Sequoia again. And you love that one, don't you? The Bambi one. <laughs> I don't know. We've been having all this conversation earlier. Okay, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Mm. Alid says, small world. Very subtle changes. Still a banging tune, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I agree with Can that. Can you imagine if they just kind of... Just added a bit of a beat to it. 
And yeah, but they'd have to speed up the the dolls' heads. They have to speed up the dolls. It's my. I want to be this. I want to be this girl. If you speed it up. Lucy's doing the. Uh... The, uh, the 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 Indian girl on the sort of chaise long thing who's got a cute you know, fingers under her chin mm -hmm. and does that sideways head. Yeah. Or I want to be a hula girl. <laughs> Oh, all the ones in the light, That's it. <laughs> oh, if we speed this one up, it'd be like this. Yeah. Alid suggests add, um, adding a, a dabbing doll. It, well, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if they did that. I know. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, what do you think? Have um, we got anything else to add, or should we? Because uh, there'll be no uh, MT again tonight, guys, just because uh, we Kerry have says, to get Bonnie after bed. Ooh, I may be going. Same rough time. My countdown is 53 days. When are we going? Uh, we're going the 14th of August. 14th. August. 14th of August. I haven't got a countdown going, which and is shameful. Yeah, that's not carry. We'll, uh, we'll give you a sticker. Yeah. We're bringing we'll friends. friends with us. Friends? Oh, we are bringing yeah, friends. Yeah, you're like, you're like, wait, what? Oh, all right. All right. We found my... Um, Orange bird hammer bead coaster <laughs> just before the show. I was thinking I should make more of these. I really should. Make an oh, army. Kerry says their last day is the 14th. Oh, will we actually be there on the 14th? Or are we flying on the 14th? That's, not, that's Monday, isn't it? Team oh, we will be down. there on the 14th. We might catch you on the way out. It's in hours. Cool, cool. Yeah. I was going to put a countdown on, but I'll do it later. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Shall I uh, sign out then? I think so. Um, Jenny says maybe Bonnie could uh, do us a trip report when you go to DLP through the eyes of a 10 year old. Eight. But, yeah. uh, Currently eight. Uh, that, she, that's she, what, she, that's she what I was trying to find earlier. She's sat on some cushions so she looks taller than she is. And, and I just. She's actually like and that. I just, yeah. And I just thought. That was, was the one you were looking for earlier. I felt really, I feel like. Mm -hmm. are, yeah. Are you going to. think I'm 10. <laughs> yeah. what, hey, hey. Are you going to do a trip report? Uh, in what form are you going to write write it down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. I could could do a video trip report. We can play it on our podcast when we've got Chris who knows how to do these things. Yeah. Yeah, if he's not here, we just hold up a... a yeah, do you know what? We do go in. Can you see it? Can you see it? Do you know what? <laughs> it's my pride getting in the way. If I spent some time, I could figure it out. But And if I worked out, it would be massive. Well, we, we all could figure it out, but uh, Chris just does that. And we let him. <laughs> it is his job, and though. And he's, he's good at it. Yeah. So uh, we're happy for him to do that. We, we're he not, has but, knowledge. But if any of the things we're just like Luddites, we've got some skills, haven't we? <laughs> I'm a Luddite. It's fine. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. I'm sorry it's been a short one today. We'll be back on form next week. It's not been that short. 53 minutes. When, 54. Well, I won't hear for half it. But I will get my homework done next week and not have to sit at my computer typing. So thank you all very much for being here. And I'll also stop giving myself a quick in the neck, trying to get in the frame. I've been Lucy. These have been the rains. Bye-bye. Need to press the, uh, the X. Oh. <laughs>